But our next one is he speaks. So we know that speaks, the root word is pesa. Um, so with this he speaks, it's going to be avar pesurar, ivar pesurar, uh, oven pesuran, or even pesuran, depending on which he you use. Now you can also um, go ahead and make more sentences with this by saying what he speaks. So if you're going to say tamo, um, you, you can go ahead and start to expand your sentences um, by changing, you can say English right there. So you can say, oh, but the trick is that in Tamil, the verb comes at the very end. Um, so if you say, he speaks Tamil, um, it would be avar Tamil pesurar, or avan Tamil pesuran. Um, so the objects are going to go in the middle. Um, we can come to that more later, but go ahead and just be thinking about that and trying to add um, your own words, even words in English or whatever your native language is, words like quickly, quietly, um, any words that you can think of just to kind of help get used to putting that in the middle and not at the end. So the verb comes at the very last. Besides po, we have learned six other verbs, and so we are going to um, go ahead and go through all of them. <laughs> all of them at once instead of conjugating each ending of the verb for each version of she. So practice this on your own, thinking of how you would say it the other ways, but I didn't want to write them all. So in order to say she speaks, we would say avul pesural. So again, note that the endings are going to match right here. If we say she reads, we would say avul parikiral. And again, you can switch this to avanga, avanga, or avul. I'm just using different ver different forms of she on different ones. You can practice it on your own. She comes, avanga, vanga, sorry, avanga, varanga. Um, okay, she walks is avanga, narakaranga. Avanga nada karanga. I always, I have a hard time enunciating in English with my A sounds. So if I say that wrong, I will probably have to repeat myself. I apologize. So she walks is avanga nada karanga. She sleeps is avul tungral. She looks is evil parkiral. So again, go ahead and practice these using different forms of she with the verbs here that you already know. Um, I just didn't write them down, but go ahead and practice those. Um, go ahead and, like how I said before, add English words to it to try to make sure that you do it in the correct way. So if I say, for example, um, she reads a book in this one, I could say, evil book parikral. Um, if I say she walks fast, and then I don't know the word for fast yet, I can still go ahead and practice making my sentences longer with Avanga fast nadakaranga. So go ahead and just add in those words. Um, if you are a visual learner, then write it down. If you learn auditorily, then go ahead and practice that aloud.